All right. Uh, welcome to part four of this tutorial. Um, this one will probably be pretty short. Um, so our last video, we finished up all the fetching stuff. Um, we set up our get books function. And the previous video before that one, we set up our reducers and such. So all that's done. This file is completely done. So now we need to, we're going to move away from the Redux and now we're going to start heading into the actual like React and the JSX stuff, the component stuff, okay? So I created this, fo uh, this file called search container and this is going to be a really small file. It's just going to import our actions and our, our props for um, this uh, this search box okay so we're going to import our, our actions and our props into this file and then in another file which will be the next video we're going to set up a component that's going to take in these props and we're going to do stuff with them okay so this is going to be a pretty short and easy easy uh easy file so we need to connect to our redux state now okay so how do we do that and Redux, um, there's a function called connect. We can use that to connect to our state. So we're going to import that connect function. Okay. Import connect from, in this case, it's going to be React. React Redux. I cannot spell today. All right. Next. We need to import our uh, get books function that we exposed in the other video. That's why we did this right here. So we need to get that function. So import get books from oops, the modules folder. And in my case, it's going to be search. Oh, I, I forgot to mention early on, um, uh, I'm going to be putting this code on Bitbucket. Um, I'll provide a link. So all the code will be there. So if you miss anything, you didn't understand anything, or you, uh, something didn't make sense, please go check out the code. It's going to be on Bitbucket. Uh, if it's not already, I can't remember if I made the commit to push it up there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to import our from JS function because we're going to need it again. Um, this is coming from immutable. And last but not least, we need to import our component that's going to be playing with these props. So we're going to import our search component, which we haven't created yet, which we will in the next video. I'm going to step ahead. Okay. Next, let's get our action. So, const action. And it's going to be um, get books. I'm going to set up a prop called get books. And we are this function is going to take in a value arrow function remember es6 and we'll set up get books and we're going to pass in that value okay ignore all the red squeakles they'll go away now what we need to do is we need to map the uh, the state to the props uh, so we need to set up a function or a uh, variable called map state to prompts, and this guy simply takes in the state. And we need to grab our um, within this map state to pro um, props function, we need to grab our search state so it's going to be const 
I'm gonna set up a variable. I'm gonna set it equal to a variable state. Remember, the entire state is an object. Now, in this case, the um, the entire tree is just a regular JavaScript object. So we're just gonna grab it via state dot search. You can grab it if you make the whole tree immutable, which I haven't figured out how to do with this particular um, version of the package. Um, you can go state dot get search. Uh, actually, actually, at my 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 current job, that's actually the way we're doing it uh, within our within the app that we're currently building right now. Um, but it was a different version of this package, so I haven't actually figured out how to do it here yet. Um, okay, so we are we need to um, get the get the books and get the query, the stuff that we set up earlier. So let's do that. Let's set up a prop called books, and this is going to go to the search branch of the state tree. And I want to use the immutable JS function get. And what am I getting? I'm getting books. Remember when we created that reducer earlier? We were setting it, uh, setting books on the state here. We want to grab that. And so the get function passes in you can pass in an optional second parameter and in the documentation it's called it I think it's called a not set value in other words it's a default value okay so if there's no books if there's nothing there um, in this case I just want to set up a blank list it's it's a blank JavaScript array but in I think I explained this in a lot in another video um, an immutable JS list our arrays maps our objects and from JS does this for me automatically otherwise I could just do it manually I believe there's a a to map and a to list function that does it all right so we're done with that and now we need to grab the query so we're gonna grab the query in this case, um, I'm just going to go search dot get query. Yeah, if there's nothing there, and then just set it to nothing. Just set it to a blank string. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is we need to export all this because otherwise it's not going to work. So export default get that connect function. Now we can get rid of the right squiggly for that guy. Map state the props, pass in our props, pass in our actions. All right, last thing we need to do with this connect function, you have to pass in the view or the the, uh, the component in this case, which is search. Okay, and that is it for this guy. That's it for this uh, this file here. Um, so the next video will be, um, setting up the, uh, doing the JSX, um, passing in these props and doing things with the, the books. We need to loop through, iterate through the books and display the content. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So stay tuned for the next video.